Hello, everyone. Welcome to Screenplay Sunday. Of course, we're here with uh, Georgie Boy, my co-host. GB, how are you? Uh, good, Josh. Feeling very excited for this one. Well, we have and, the uh, amazing uh, Julian Haig with us. Uh, please welcome Julian. Jules, how are you, mate? Hi, uh, guys. I just got super nervous because I have no idea what's about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. You can also hear the laugh of uh, Tom. Oops, I've just had a managed to switch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, this no. is outrageous. <laughs> how have I gone full screen? I'm trying to steal this is outrageous. <laughs> there we go. Here, yeah, somehow you've managed to make <laughs> it all about you when I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, ja- that is the voice of Tommy Jacket. Uh, welcome, welcome back. TJ. Yeah. Welcome back. back. Don't welcome back, TJ. Guys, believe and achieve. If you're fired from somewhere, you may get <laughs> reinstated and get the job back. And <laughs> yeah. So, where's um, Jess? Uh, yeah, so Jess has other things on, but I, I thought it would be nice uh, with Jules uh, coming on. I thought it would be nice to have uh, TJ uh, on as well. Uh, so. <laughs> right. Uh, GB, uh, you normally bring an interesting industry fact every single mm. week to give us get us into sort of the film and television sort of yeah. uh, mindset. What have you got for us today? Well, you know what? I'm actually a bit done with the facts, to be honest. <laughs> okay. That's a fact. I've done facts each week and <laughs> they haven't been very good. So, you know, so no I, don't, I don't really... Uh, yeah, no more facts. But You're what I did do... Throwing yeah. in the towel for facts. I just thought instead of the facts, I would look up Julian Haig on IMDb. Mm-hmm. And, um, oh, good. And look at the trivia. <laughs> you know, there's a, there's a trivia section uh-huh. on IMDb. Um, Julian, can you tell us about the lawn bowls? Yeah, my uni mates are going to love this because um, they actually edited that and put that in there. <laughs> really? Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my buddy G Unit put that in there. So I'm pretty sure G-Unit. the. G unit. I'm pretty sure he put in there for trivia, um, won a gold medal with the ECU grass cutters in lawn bowls. In WA, the... ECU. Yeah, yep. Went to ECU. Ah. WA. Yep. Is that so? Is that true, yep. or you didn't do that? No. Yeah, we won two gold medals actually. Yeah. Oh great. <laughs> oh, so like, I think that's a valid fact. That's a good fact. Right? That's, no, a, that's a great fact. It is- no, it's great. It is good stuff. It's just funny that G Unit edited my IMDb page and put it in there. <laughs> Are we we're friends for? Yeah. Well, I was about to G exactly. Unit. Can 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 G B? Can we rebrand G B to, to, to G, G Unit? Unit. G, G Unit's G well. Unit. I do like. How did G that was Unit actually my the nickname of G Unit? Oh yeah, I was called G Unit. I think in it's year just seven. because his name's Glenn, <laughs> and oh, <laughs> his name's Makes Glenn, sense. and he's just huge, huge yeah. guy. He was like he's a, a unit. he was a bouncer. And he's, mm-hmm. he's just incredibly strong. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah, right. I have a friend George, called G Unit, G- 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 <laughs> who can squat 400 kilos. You need oh, to be able to yes. lift some Whoa. heavy shit before. Um, before GB. you put unit into mm-hmm. any part of your nickname. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, None of us are units. Uh, Jules, what, when was the last time you were at a table read? Tell us about it. Um, I did an episode of the ABC comedy retrograde. Mm-hmm. And we actually we did a couple of table reads because it was shot like this. Um, everyone was in their own location, so we did quite a bit of um, yeah reading through scripts and whatnot. And I was only in one episode, so they were doing tons of table reads and rehearsals like this. Um, yeah, in Zoom, it's fun. Yeah, all the table reads are on Zoom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And do you What's bring your own catering or anything, or what sort of like what's your setup? Do you have pens, paper? What sort of stationery did you have? I can't remember on the day, probably just a pen and a highlighter. Uh Um, But then when we shot the show, they um, they actually had me on location at one of the producer's houses as if it was my house. Oh, Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, When I first... first, Yeah, Sorry. I was going to say Maria from last week. Didn't she help make... Or was she an actress in Retrograde as well? Oh, yeah. Maria. Yeah, yeah, Maria was uh, one of the leads in there. Yeah. And I, I played her sort of love interest. Oh, here we go. All oh, right. Oh, this is right. That, that is a really good connection. Um, <laughs> yeah. And so, like, what's the vibe you're getting so far when you sort of see this? Does this feel like a like similar Like an ABC sort of, production? Yeah, like a similar <laughs> professionalism. Uh, yeah, this is very similar. Um, okay. No, honestly, a, a lot of that sort of stuff, it is like, you guys are, you guys are super professional. I'm not thank sure you. if you're aware of uh, that. Thank but you. Yeah, you are. Um, and most, you know, most creative projects are even at the top end, they're like a, 
they're kind of like a duck treading water on the surface. They might look kind of calm, but underneath they are just like going crazy. Yeah. So that's most mm-hmm. things. Well, definitely. I think with with this one, my it, sister's my sister's is picking up some of her washing in her, her beach towels. <laughs> okay, hello, hi, hello, George, hi. She she has no idea what I'm doing right now. Hi, George. Uh, <laughs> but yep, that's that's George. Beautiful. Yep. Um, another actor. Good, like, good to have another actor <laughs> in the presence of other actors. You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, okay, what yeah. we what we tend to do. So uh, if you're not across it, uh, one of us writes a script each week. And I'm then, semi across it. I'm yeah. semi across it because can, I've listened to the podcast a couple of times, and you guys have talked about screenplay Sundays, <laughs> yeah, sure. and I'm just like, what the hell are they talking about every time they talk about screenplay Sundays? Yeah. So I'm sort so of true. across it. You could listen yeah. to eight episodes of Screenplay Sunday and probably still be wondering what it is. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what happens? <laughs> but, uh, That's uh, really true. Right. Yeah, but GB right. and, and I had been taking turns in writing a, a script. Uh, the only really oh. consistent thing that has stayed is has, George writing other has, people writing the script. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's been a lot of other people involved <laughs> yeah. in writing the script. I think this is my second or First? third time. Oh. Yeah. First? Uh, <laughs> it's been. No, you did the I, reckon, I think this is your second time writing it, George. Yeah. No, I think it's second. your third. It's your third. Okay, that's it's my third. third. Okay, it's my third. So, third time good. writing the script. That's, that's um, pretty impressive that you, you pumped out three scripts, uh, guys. That's, here we go. Yeah, thank you. Thank I mean, you. And it is I, not easy. I mean, it's only you know this. This script is only uh, four, pa- five pages, if you're including the title page. Uh, and so, <laughs> oh, okay. I saw 60, <laughs> 60 minutes, so I was like, "This is a long script." No, so no. <laughs> um, and so, yes, that you've. We've, I've sent this script to everyone. The title is sixty minutes. There are two characters that have been consistent throughout this whole. Uh, production and that is Wendy and Dale and once again they are in the script but when you think about 60 minutes what if you were to have a guess of the premise we have a segment it's called guess the premise uh, what would your guess More be More conviction Josh yeah what would the, what would what would your guess be if it was a segment which it is <laughs> hopefully hopefully is this my guess yeah yeah, Jules. yeah, yeah. Jules, what do you think 60 there's minutes a, what do you think there's a segment on 60 minutes okay that's very good. Oh. Yeah, you're right. I, uh, how about- <laughs> <laughs> Don't give it away. Yeah, yeah, it really? might be. Oh, happy. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it, it might be. It might be that. But um, so we we'll go straight into it. We won't fluff. You know, uh, fluff around. Uh, TJ, do no you have any- required, no fluffers required? Even around. though I was brought in as a fluffer today, but TJ, no any fluff. questions? Any sort of because because been have a you while missed since- us, TJ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haven't seen you guys since that episode. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> haven't spoken, but. Who's, who are the characters? I'm, I'm excited to know. Yeah. And so uh, today, uh, Jules, uh, you'll be playing yep. the character Tim. Grace, you'll be Wendy. Mr. 97, you'll be Dale. George, you will be Jeff and Jake. And oh, great. Josh, that's me, he'll be playing a character named Josh. Uh, and okay. uh, I'm happy to do the big print. Who's yeah. Tommy? And I'll be, Who's I'll be Magpie. Oh, sorry, Tommy, Tommy is Magpie. Tommy is Magpie. <laughs> no, I got that. Sorry. Yeah. sorry. sorry. I, well, I did say I'd only come back on if I um, came back as a Magpie. Yes. And so, you know. Okay. Can I just say, oh, isn't, it, isn't it crazy that uh, Mason's been Dale the whole time? No, 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 no. After the Aside from Hamish. Accents. <laughs> Hamish, yeah. Ryan and Mason. Like, how's that? Yeah. High caliber, Are George. High caliber. Did you want to be, did you want to be Dale? That's no, just just interesting. I have, <laughs> I have that written. Ooh, I think part of it. I think part there. of it is because Grace has been playing Wendy so much. I've sort yeah. of wanted to chemistry. keep. I didn't want to have some sort of sex scene with Dale and Wendy, and all of a sudden it's yeah, right. GB George. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. it's the G unit in the sex scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not exactly. We don't need that. Why okay, call yeah. G unit. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do it, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming to Who's today's... Who's Big Print, Josh, by the way? Uh, I'm Big Print. I said that. Okay, great. Um, yeah. Uh, so, everyone, welcome to the uh, the table read today. Uh, everyone's got the script. Everyone good to go? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, perfect. All right. Uh, Jeff 16 minutes. What was that? Jimmy? Sorry, Jeff and... <laughs> Jeff and, and Jake. Jake. <laughs> Jake. Very professional. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Great. Okay. Also, side note: I have a little bit of a sniffle, so. <laughs> okay, great. No that's, no, that's okay. 
I can write. That's, like, uh, that's not like a character choice. That's a little bit Sixty okay. minutes not written by Josh Jansen, Eight Ferguson Street, Abbotsford, Victoria three zero six seven. Josh at BigMediaCompany dot com. Interior, 60 minutes studio, evening. Studio lights slowly fade up. The 60 minutes intro music is playing and the presenter, Tim Johnson, holds his paper script firmly in his hand. The TV producer gestures off camera. Three fingers, two. The auto cue begins to move. We're watching through the television lens like the hundreds of thousands of viewers at home. Tonight on 60 Minutes, we take you inside the lives of the Australian reality show power couple Wendy and Dale Duggins. For over seven years, we've seen them on the, as the protagonists of the hit show, Doing It With The Duggins. But what is it like when the cameras aren't around? I got an exclusive access coming up. 60 Minutes graphic transition. But first, the magpie that can talk. Jeff has that story now. Exterior park day. Jeff, a reporter, is wearing a suit sitting on a park bench with a magpie. When did you realise you could talk? Right. I, I still can't believe it, to be honest. It happened about a year ago. There was a guy walking up and three were my... Uh, up to the tree where my miso was looking after the kids in the nest. Normally I would swoop. I don't know what came over me, but as this bloke approached... I expanded my wings and yelled, fuck off. I don't know who was more surprised, me or the bloke. And did he uh, fuck off? He sure did. (laughs) What an amazing story. 60 minutes transition graphic. Interior, 60 minutes studio, evening. He won't be doing that again. What a remarkable story. Now, (laughs) our feature with Dale and Wendy Duggins. Interior... Dal and Wendy and Wendy's lounge room day. Dal and Wendy sit across from Tim in an interview style setup. There's cameras, lighting, and crew. When when we <laughs> When Wendy told me there was interest in a reality show about us, I couldn't believe it. He never really understood what the appeal was of people watching us watching us live our lives. Well, I never really watch reality shows. I have enough problems on my own. Oh, I might fuck Funny up you bring that, that up, Dale. <laughs> oh, no, 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 this is right. No, this is right. No, go on. That's go right, on. that's right. Funny you bring that up, Dale. A lot of viewers are probably thinking right now, don't they ever fight? Of course we fight. The dishes. We're always fighting about the dishes. In that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 this is meant to be Tim. This is all Tim. This is all Tim. This is all Tim. So, Tim, okay. in what way? In what oh, way? In what, sorry. In that way. <laughs> I said it wrong anyway. Right. Well, we have certain dishes that obviously can't go in the dishwasher, and Dale always gets them confused. I mean, I still don't think it's clear, to be honest. We have some mugs that can go in the dishwasher and some that can't. Do you think that makes any sense, Tim? Do you have. Do some have printed graphics on them? Dale looks at Wendy for the answer. Uh, Yeah, I think the Looney Tunes mug is printed. There's your answer. Dale, you've been described by other family members as, and I quote, difficult and dumb. Well, mate, I mean, you've spoken to me, Tim. You've watched the show. You've been in our house. What do you think? Dale, I'm interviewing you. The viewers don't want to hear from me. Let's just say, look, Dale isn't perfect. He's not smart all the time and he's not always easy. So a bit dumb. (laughs) Wendy softly nods. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Earlier in the season, Dale, uh, you bought a jet ski. Why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> really need to tie up some loose ends here, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> but, because I got a big tax return. Is it true that the tax return didn't actually cover the cost of the jet ski? Yes, but Tim, let me just say... Crash! 
A sound comes from a window in the kitchen next door. Jake, the camera operator, jumps up from his camera. Everyone, stay where you are. If you can, duck under a seat. We would be dealing with a security... We could be dealing with a security breach. Dale and Wendy duck behind their chairs, whilst Tim tries untangling himself from the wireless lapel microphone. Interior, kitchen, day. Jake walks into the kitchen area, slowly examining the room. There's nothing unusual. He walks towards the window, which is ajar. My wing! Ah! My fucking wing! (laughs) Oh, my goodness. It's the talking magpie from the first segment. Josh... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the director <laughs> Josh the director Comes in from the other room <laughs> Come in from- <laughs> Does someone need me to call- <laughs> Does someone need me to call Triple zero The camera zooms out from Josh's face Revealing that Wendy, Dale and Tim Are also in uh, also now in the kitchen <laughs> oh. oh, Josh. Josh. Oh, Josh. <laughs> Josh does a silly face while shrugging his shoulders. <laughs> Fade to black. Uh, wow. That was one of our wow. best. Hard, hard oh, hitting goodness. stuff, 60 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Well done, Tim. Um, <laughs> um, really good, Josh. <laughs> I Feedback think, uh, on the script, like everyone was fumbling <laughs> a bit. Was that due to how I had written it? I, like, yeah, I mean, a, a couple clumsy? of spelling, er- yeah, a bit clunky, a bit clumsy. Like a couple of spelling errors. <laughs> kitchen in the last uh, couple of sentences is kitch ken. Um, oh, that's annoying. <laughs> kitchen. Oh, that's annoying. It started off really so strong, but yeah, no, was, I, th- um, I think you did a great job setting the scene, Josh. Um, I enjoyed it. I'm a resident script yeah, critic. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> As, out of all the four-page scripts I've ever read, this is one of the best ones. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> the best four-page script. What you, like, um, Jules, what, what was your favourite bit? What sort of stood out to you? Ooh, I definitely liked interviewing the, the couple. That was mm-hmm. just fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's not much else really there, is there? <laughs> no. What about yeah. the magpie Talking performance? Magpie. Hang on. Yeah, that was yeah. huge. I don't know. I don't know why I was losing it so much when I was calling him dumb or asking him if he was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. Yeah, the magpie performance was good. I think. Um, Thank you. You started the first sentence was good, and then you lost your accent pretty quickly, and then you started sounding like Tommy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I think it was there was a little fumble there that I think caught you off off yeah, guard. But the um, words were dancing on the page. It sounded a bit, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Ma- the magpie accent was actually yeah, really strong at the start. Um, yeah, but I, I've never actually heard a magpie talk, so I guess we're not sure. It's true. If anything, if anything, Tommy's my magpie needs like one liners because then you can really sort of. Mm-hmm. Give it, it and, sure. and then it just stops. Mm. It's almost too much dialogue I gave you, TJ. Well, look, you know, I want more screen time is always good. Yeah. Um, so I, think, I think, I think if you're going to, I think if you're going to go magpie, you got to go full magpie and that's a big chunk. So you just have to commit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So it could have been, so if I was to do the performance, how I had it in my head, oh, I still can't really believe it, to be honest. Oh, it happened about a year ago. Oh, there was That's a guy good. walking up a tree where my misso was looking after the kids in the nest. Whoa. Normally, I would like that. <laughs> that was good. Good. I'm going to do the whole in. bit. <laughs> no, I was. You even, you, I could... even, you even added extra squawking in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, a lot Every more squawking. Every sentence ends with a. Whoa. <laughs> you realise how many sentences there are when you do that. Um, <laughs> But uh, no, I think it was uh, the, uh, the look, other hard thing is the simultaneous. I don't know if I even wrote that correctly. The whole everyone, oh, Josh, but also with all of the delays and you being up the middle of a hill and all that sort of thing, it's very <laughs> hard for us to simultaneously say something and for it all to be in sync. Mm. Oh, I missed that bit. When was that bit? The <laughs> very end. The, oh, the last Josh. line, I think. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Was the magpie was delay though? No, no, no. I was just too busy focusing on the misspelling of kitchen that I actually didn't read uh, the rest kitchen. of the... Uh, I lost uh, my train of thought at the end somehow as well. Did you, is that what happened to you, Sevs? Yeah, I, was, I, think, I, think it, I think I was just a bit rattled because I didn't understand what was happening. 
Did yeah, you? No, I, so you, I was, was laughing. A lot of laughter. At, yeah, yeah so the there laughing, was so much I, laughter, it threw me off. I, I lost it at me having to say my line about calling triple zero. <laughs> Well, I, I thought, lost it. I, I lost it at you I saying you Josh, the director. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you guys were losing it because it says Josh, the director, come in. It doesn't say comes. Yeah, in. I was. Yeah. La- I was laughing well. about that. Yeah, as well. Everyone was yeah, laughing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guys, like, not to tell you how like to laugh was, or like what this to laugh was at. Written by a bogan. <laughs> <laughs> well, we famously the the tax return that um, Dale that, uh, Dale got was how much was it. Uh, Fifteen hundred, seventeen hundred dollar, seventeen hundred dollar. I forgot to write dollar. I didn't write dollars. Um, and so Ryan um, Shelton so read it like that. This is interesting, actually, from a story point of view. Has Dale and Wendy been in a reality show this whole time? Yes, that's what I was sort of alluding to. Was that every single script wow. that we've had was actually a part of the reality show? Wow. 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 Well, we that's meta as shows? fuck, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say there, Grace? Is this um, inspiration from me watching my reality show? Yeah, well? yeah, it was. Yeah, I like to mm. pull inspo from everything. So I was, you know, putting stuff in the dishwasher just before this and yeah. thinking about how annoying it is that you can put some things in, can't put other things in. So it's sort of a bit of a social commentary of, of life in a lot of ways. Mm-hmm. Totally. Yeah, I mean, reality shows are very inspiring. So. Mm can see can see yeah there's a lot there there's a lot to um to to take from it uh any any other thought have you had fun jules oh that was a ton of fun i want to do it again great like next week start from the top top. (laughs) do you only read it through once yeah no we only read it through once but it would be i mean do you think you were asking you know am i going to get to see the script do you think that there would be sort of validity in season two for us to give the script beforehand so everyone feels a little bit more comfortable or what do you think? I mean, it'll, yeah, it, yeah, it'll make, if people can read it through once at least, then they just know sort of what's going to be happening a bit. Then they can change their intentions a little bit so they Mm -hmm. just sort of know. But it is also really fun to just kind of, go for it out of nowhere and just read I mean, the, it through the, and see what the happens. The problem the problem with sending it over is we lose the game, guess the premise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that happens. We've already lost the facts. Yeah, yeah. We can't yeah. lose guess the premise. Yeah, yeah, yeah facts are But Too also, benchmarks. I just finished it as well. So, then, like, yeah, that's you couldn't have read say. it any earlier. <laughs> 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 if you send it over early, it means you have yeah. to actually write it early, which yeah, is exactly yeah. not in the spirit of the, of the show. And the other disaster, Jules, which you went across, you'll notice that it's called 60minutesfinal.pdf. That's because the original script I sent to the guys... Yeah. I was updating the uh, title page at the time and managed to just save out the title page and sent that to everyone. <laughs> um, and so... Um, well, good. Josh, have, have we got any updates <laughs> on a sponsorship yet? No. Nah. Do you? <laughs> no. So, was, so was this written on um, Final Draft or... This is what yeah, 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 yeah. Still, Yeah, it's on Final Draft. I bought Final Draft, so it's still Final Draft. So we've still got a couple... Okay. Still got to make back some cash... Yeah, about yeah. 260. Well, that's your months. last time. That'll be your last time writing for the season. So, Yeah, are you writing next week, GB? I guess so, yeah. Yeah, let's figure it out now. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, GB's um, going <laughs> to... I thought the only good thing with like maybe reading it through <laughs> this a whole... second time, as it is nice and short, is that like you could give some directions, Josh. Okay. Yeah, that's a oh, good that's idea. that's interesting. So, so maybe it's for every single character, there's one sentence... Of um of direction that you can give, I like that idea. So you could say, for instance, I could say, uh, George, you'll be playing Jeff, and I uh, he is way more formal than he needs to be. Great, mm. yeah, yeah, great stuff idea. like that might be good. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then yeah, and then something like with the couple, they could be just like they just need to know that coming into it, they are already pissed off at each other because they've mm-hmm. had a little argument or something like yeah. that. Sure. That yeah. would help a lot. Okay. Or they'd just been having sex before the camera crew got there and they're both <laughs> flustered. Yes. Yeah. That's very raunchy. Um, <laughs> good idea, TJ. Um, yeah. right. uh, well, thanks. Uh, thanks, Jules, for um, for coming on and, and uh, no worries. Go- going with it. Um, any, anything yeah, that was, you would... Uh, I was chatting to TJ the other day about it and I said like, oh, I, 
you guys popped into my head and I was like, oh, I need to get back on the show. And then he gave me a call like the next day to come on here. So oh, it was so pretty good. funny. I mean, yeah. uh, anything that you would say, any, any other feedback, anything else? Because season two, we can make these changes. You're the professional here. Anything else? I reckon you could ones? look up. Yeah, I reckon you could make the script a little longer. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm happy yeah. For that. Um, yeah. What else? Oh, yeah. I mean, if you want some sort of classic uh, drama writing type things, just, I mean, obviously the first one is story. You want to mm-hmm. have a beginning, middle, end and, mm-hmm. uh, you know, and make that kind of journey happen. Um, and then the other one is it's really good to have conflict. So, obviously, um, the conflict between the couple is really great. Um, and then the conflict between the magpie and Jeff is also pretty good. Um, but then, yeah, if you want to, in, in like most TV film, there's different, there's like sort of inner conflict, outer conflict, and then world conflict. So you want mm-hmm. like um, to have something that's an over, like Star Wars is the easy, easiest example. The inner conflict is that, you know, um, Luke's trying to become a Jedi like his father. And then the outer conflict is he's on this journey with these other guys trying to save the princess. And then the world conflict is the Death Star is going to destroy the universe. So that's like uh, a big example. Can you, you do can the you know, Can you do all scale. of those now, versions mom, of conflicts mom, in in four pages? <laughs> I mean, you you can find ways. Here's my mum, by the way. Hi, mum. Just say hi, hi mum. <laughs> Um, hello. Also has no idea what's going on. So. <laughs> your mum's, is your mum a None. screenwriter? Is she a screenwriter? They're saying, are you a screenwriter? What do you do? I'm a, a painter. She's painter. a painter. Look, oh, she's amazing. in her... Yeah, look, she's even in her... A oh, full yeah. painting outfit. Uh, amazing. Yeah, yeah. What is she currently yes. painting? <laughs> what are you currently painting, mum? Uh, Actually, if I give you this, can you pop that? <laughs> no, you do it. I'm not putting... Put, put in that ear, then you'll be able to hear them, and Hello, then the Mike microphone's here. So, what are, what are you currently painting? Hi, pa- can... Hi, what are you currently painting? Well, I'm painting sort of a mix of landscape and still life with a semi abstract, um, it's pretty abstract, yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> almost patchworks of color and like, shapes. Oh, beautiful. How, they're, they're do actually, you know how long it's awesome. going to take you? Like when you set out to do something, do you say this is going to take me six weeks or how does it work? No. Um, <laughs> it can take me – actually, these paintings are taking me quite a while, like a, a few weeks each because I'm, I'm just um, – I feel like you've been pumping them out. Yeah, but I'm not rushing it. Yeah, like, good, good. I'm not rushing it. I'm just because uh, they're about one and a half meters by a meter, so oh. they're pretty, a, fairly I, big. Yeah, there's oh. a lot I need to uh, do in each one, and consider once I put a mark in one spot, and what happens over there, it affects everything around it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah it so you, take a while. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. If you were to have a guess, what do you think we're doing? Um. <laughs> You well, like, are you doing a Zoom? Um, Zoom, yeah, yeah. But what are we doing? <laughs> you're working on a script. You're, yeah. yeah, you're working out an idea for a script. Yeah, that's oh, pretty good. Pretty close. Yeah, that's, that's really not bad. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this this is, is the new game. Yeah. <laughs> Get your mum to guess what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> you better you say, yeah. guess the premise. What do you? Th- it's called sixty <laughs> minutes. Hello, the script. There's a lot of static going on. Another segment. Your guess is what the hell we're doing. <laughs> Why are you doing it? I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, no, don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> Neither do we. We don't know. Yeah, we, we don't know. We don't know. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you and good luck with the uh, painting and thank you, uh, Jules, for coming on the uh, podcast. Uh, everyone, there's tuna you're sandwiches. Welcome. Help yourselves, uh, obviously. Um, you know, take some away with you. Uh, it's been Screenplay Sunday. Enjoy your Sunday and we'll uh, see you next week. Have a good one. You. <laughs>